Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Eric and today I'm going to use to you something very special from Boast to Go and the thing fell off. This is the planing tabs from Boast to Go that is also modular with their transom wheels. Let's get to it. So first I'm going to start with a tabletop. Okay, so this part of the video, I'm going to be doing it as a tabletop, so my head's going to be cut off. You won't be able to see my head because I want you guys to focus on these little details. Ideally, once you install the tabs or if you plan to purchase these, this is your end result. This is how it goes, like this. Imagine that this is the bracket that's installed already on, on the transom of the boat. This will go like so. You put in the clips. There's one clip, and here's the other. And ideally, this is the way you want it, with the 90 degree angle. It actually reaches the, um, the water itself. Now, what I'm gonna show you guys is a few details of what it is like to put it together. If you guys wanna skip straight to the water review, I'll put the number, you know, where you, um, the minute and, 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 uh, and second to go to at the bottom. But for those of you who want to find out how to put it all together, that's what I'm going to go over right now. So here is the planing tab. This is the bracket that will go into the, uh, the piece that goes into the bracket that goes into the transom right here. You get this tube. You got the three bolts with the washers. Let's get right to it. So we're going to take this bolt, put in on a washer in place. You're going to get these little uh, plastic grommets. We're going to use them. We're going to put one in. Slide it right through. I hope you guys can see this. Take the other one. Slide it right through. Take a washer. Take a nut. I'm not going to them right now i'm just doing it by you know finger tight so you guys can get the idea see see the functionality that's how it goes then we're gonna take this other bolt with the nut in the washers that one goes back here these little holes back here take a washer put it right through the reason why I'm doing this is because when I got this, these pieces from both to go, it took me a little while to figure it out. And I figured, okay, it probably be a good idea to make a video and add this to it. So you guys have a clue. You know what it's like, you know what to expect. And the fact that these things are modular are so amazing with the transfer wheels. I got the transfer wheels from both to go right here with me. So see, see how it goes. And see, once you get to this point, you take the smaller bolt. Put it right through. Take the other washer. Don't forget the washers, okay? This will make sure that it'll last you a very long time. It doesn't wear out on you. Bada bim, bada boom. See? Eh? Huh? <laughs> and there you have it. That is the idea of the the whole entire setup and it being modular as i mentioned earlier so here's the bracket that will mount into the uh, into the transom on your boat here's a transom wheel from both to go goes in like so put in the pins There is one, and there is the other. See, modular, <laughs> ain't it awesome? Now, if you get if you were to purchase just the wheels themselves, the pins look like this. They're a little slightly different, but they have the same functionality. All right, so now let's get back outside and show you guys the rest. Now that the tabletop is over and you guys get to see what it's all about, you know, how to put it together and things like that, I'm going to get you guys in closer so you guys can see a little bit more details of what this is about. So like I mentioned, like mentioned on the title and mentioned before, these are planing tabs. These are, there are some inflatable boats 
that uh, claim very easily, like my SK-285XL Kubota. That one has no trouble catching in plane, primarily because it is narrow and flat bottom. Usually narrow and flat bottom inflatables have no trouble catching in plane, but bigger ones do, especially this one. This is my beloved uh, Saturn CK380. It is very nose happy. You guys will see it soon on the water review. I'm gonna be taking it to the water so you guys can see it in action. And this is how they look. They protrude a little bit below the boat as it should. See that little angle? It's like maybe like a 10 or 20 degree angle. So for the most part in the water, this entire section right here will be submerged underwater. And the moment the boat begins to move, the pressure of the water begins to push up and put pressure on the transom, allowing the boat to go forward. Now, that is technically what it's supposed to do. I have yet to experience it. So I'm going to be experiencing it for the first time once I take it to the water. And uh, now that you guys get, get to see, I'm going to show you guys the mo modular section where you get to switch between <laughs> the tabs and the wheels. Now, just so I don't bore you, I'm going to fast forward this footage a little bit, but you guys get to see what it's all about. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that the wheels are on, let me remove the cooler out of the bottom. <laughs> Modular system, baby. I love versatile equipment. And here you go, see? You get to roll it, pull it around. Yeah. Ooh, some of the pins fell off. Yeah. This is what it's all about, guys, right here. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do now, now that, now that you guys have an, a mental picture of what this entire modular system works, I'm going to be focusing primarily on the tabs because that's, that's what I'm focusing on. But I want to show you guys that the transom wheels are modular and that you can interchange them. And they're not, they're not badly priced, as a matter of fact. I put pictures above. They're not badly priced. The transom wheels I was using before, they were Brocrafts. They were a little more pricey. But considering how these two interchange with each other, I think they're great value for the money. So now what comes coming up next is the water review. Let me get to that. Okay, everyone, right now I'm on Lake Gentry. It's a lake that's about 20 minutes from my house, not too far. The waters are nice and flat today. That's actually, this will be the perfect testing scenario, man. I'm telling you. I got my wheels over here that I used. I got the tabs right here. I got the pins right here. I'm gonna be putting them on right now in a minute. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put you guys on the big selfie stick. I want you guys to see how the boat, you know, goes nose up. And once I give it the full power and I move my weight a little bit forward, it'll catch in plane. The tabs are supposed to fix that. So let me show you. Okay, guys, uh, let me get in a good position. This will probably be good right here. Check out what happens when I start giving it power. Nose goes up, right? It doesn't want to catch in plane. I give it more power. Forward. And then it catches play, see? And that's because I have a 9.8 horsepower. Although this is a 12 horsepower hand guy, it's a 9.8. installed they're already in place I was concerned that the propeller would hit it while turning but it does not that's good I was actually quite concerned about that I was like wait a minute is, is, it, is it gonna hit the propeller it is not that's good all right so that's one thing out of the way let me go ahead and put you guys extend it and um, let's see how it performs okay let's let's see if this makes a difference I've never done this before my first time
Okay, I'm gonna have you guys in this angle so you guys get to see it because it looks interesting how the tabs look like when they're going on speed. That is really cool. Wow. And this motor used to do a lot of splashing on my transom. Dry as a bone. Dry as a bone, baby. Oh man, this is this is a winner. This is seriously a winner. So I want to give a special thanks uh, to the guys at Boast to Go because they're the ones who suggested this for me to try. So thank you guys. Uh, again. Great value for money, like always, from both to go and Saturn. Great value for money. Uh, if you're looking forward to enhance your inflatable boat experience, getting one of these tabs actually, I wouldn't say it's a must. However, it'll make things way easier. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna add links to this above and below, so do, please do check them out. As for the installation of the, you know, of the, um, or the tabs on the transom. I have made a couple of videos already of a couple of um, transom videos I have installed before. I will put those below as well so you guys can use it as reference. Otherwise, this video will be too long. So, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Later.